Welcome to Cloud and DevOps Learning. Today, we are going to learn about IAM. So IAM is Identity and Access Management. This is one of our main services of AWS. So IAM is used to manage users, groups, roles, and along with all the required permissions and policies. So without a delay, let's get started. To start with IAM, first we will log in into our AWS console. Then we will move to IAM section. Today we are going to create a user and we will assign some permissions to the user and we will see whether the user is capable to access the services or not. So first we will click on the user add user we have to give a username here i will put test user so there are two options for programmatic access and one is for aws management console i will choose the aws management console access option For the console password, if, if we want to generate the password from here, then uh, we can choose the custom password and mention the password here. The last option is regarding the required password, regarding the required password reset. Provide an option to the user to change their password after first login. Now we will click on next permissions add the user to a group or not so this is all up to us whether we want that or not or we want to treat the user as a individual entity so i will click on next this is the tag section i will leave it review looks fine create user So this is the download.csv file for the details and uh, this is the URL from which we can uh, access that particular user. So we can download this uh, download.csv file or we can close this option and we can directly go to the console and select the user or click the user and get the URL from here and we'll go to the different browser And so you can see we are getting two options here one is for the root user login and second one is the IAM user login so we'll click on the IAM user and it is asking about the 12 digit uh, account ID or account alias so what we can do uh, we'll go to the first browser and we will copy this 12 digit account ID uh, starting with four double one double two one eight double two five two seven. We'll delete everything. We'll click on next. You can see now uh, the interface has been changed and it is asking for the IAM username. So if you remember, we created the username test user and we have to give the same password. You can see that uh, we are able to log in and it is asking for the password change. As we check the configuration while creating the user that the user must change the password after first login. So we'll quickly 
change the password yeah friends you can see that we have successfully logged in into our aws management console with the created user which is test user in our case to identify we are getting the name in the top right corner with test hyphen user and with the account id well in uh, the earlier case it was the root account name which was vivek devops hub here yeah so friends you can see that uh, we have switched over to mumbai reason and now we will click on running instances you can see uh, we are not able to see any instances in mumbai reason and uh, we are getting a message here an error occurred fetching instance data you are not authorized to perform this operation yeah just to remember when we logged in with a root user i will show you the same ec2 instances section Yeah, so now we are in the root account and we will change the reason to Mumbai reason and in the same way we are going to click on running instances yeah friends you can see that uh, there are five or six instances in this Mumbai region but when we logged in from the test user we are not able to see anything this is all because of the permissions issues what we haven't provided so we will quickly go to the root user and we will provide the required access permissions to the newly created user which is the test user so I have switched in to the root account now I will go to the user click on add permissions we are getting three options here related to permissions so we will click on the last one attach existing policies directly so just for your information policies are the permissions list or a permissions which we attached to our user or any group or role so I will select the EC2 related permissions here now we have selected the option Amazon EC2 full access here and we will click on next review you can see that we have selected this option we will click on add permissions and here it is so we can see there are two permissions one is the amazon ec2 full access what we added just now and the another one means the earlier one was i am user change password so now we are in the i am user browser and we can simply click on refresh button yes you can see that uh, now we are able to fetch the ec2 instance detail from test user so this was a simple demo for creating a IAM user and providing the user with the required access so in our case we have only provided the EC2 full access to the IAM user so as per our requirement we can provide multiple access or permissions to the user